Hello, YouTubers out there. This is Mr. Amster981 here for the epilogue of Tomb Raider 1. This is my version of the epilogue, so I'm going to start off with Lara's home. They even have a loading screen for our house. Welcome to my home. I'll take you on a guided tour. So basically this is supposed to be... Uh, Use the D-pad to go into the music room. So basically this is supposed to be a... Um, I don't know what the hell that is, but... This is supposed to be where at the beginning of the game, but I decided to make this the epilogue as a warm-up for the next Let's Play. Okay. Let's do some tumbling. Press the jump button. Now press it again and quickly press one of the directions and I'll jump that way. Basically I'm just doing what the game says. Ah, the main hall. Sorry about the crates. I'm having some things put into storage and the delivery people haven't been yet. Run up to a crate, and while still pressing forward, press action, and I'll vault up onto it. I'm going to be quiet for most of this video, though. This used to be the ballroom, but I've converted it into my own personal gym. What do you think? Well, let's do some exercises. I don't actually run everywhere. When I want to be careful, I walk. Hold down the walk button and walk to the white line. With the walk button down, I won't fall off even if you try to make me. Go on, try. If you want to look around, press and hold the look button. Then press in the direction you want to look. They're inverted, except for the left and right controls. If a jump is too far for me, I can grab the ledge and save myself from a nasty fall. Walk to the edge with the white line until I won't go any further. Then press jump immediately, followed by forward, and while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button. Press forward and I'll climb up. Yeah, see, like I said, this is basically the tutorial, but I'm doing it as an epilogue for a warm up. You'll find out at the end if of this I video. If I do a running jump, I can make a jump like that, no problem. Walk to the edge with the white line until I stop. You see that gold down there? Walk and tap backwards you can see it at the corner running. of the screen. Press forward and almost immediately press and hold the jump button. I won't actually jump until the last minute. You see, the, see the gold? You know, it's just a decoration. Right, this is a really big one. To so do a running jump exactly as before, except while I'm in the air, press and hold the action button to make me grab the ledge. And the last one. Try to vault up here. Press forward and hold action. I can't climb up because the gap is too small. But press right and I'll shimmy sideways until there is room. Then press forward. Tap backwards and I'll jump off backwards. Immediately press and hold the action button, and I'll grab the ledge on the way down. Okay. Let's go for a swim. 
The jump button and the directions move me around underwater. She doesn't teach you about the swan dive for some reason. Basically, you just swim all you want until your life bar or your swim bar depletes. Yeah. Oh, eh. Just right. use forward and left and right to maneuver around on the surface. Press jump to dive down for another swim about, or go to the edge and press action to climb out. As soon as you climb out of the pool, it, the game, the tutorial's over. Right. Now I'd better take off these wet clothes. Unless you jump back in when she says that. And that's it. Alright. Looks like I'm done here. I'm pretty sure you all know what's next. Now that that's over. Ready for this? You don't have to wait a few months, but all right, that is it. So I turned just basically turned my PlayStation off because it's I have nothing else to do in Tomb Raider except I don't know replay it again. But anyways, that is the end of Tomb Raider One Complete LP. I will make Tomb Raider. I will start making Tomb Raider LP next month. But anyway, that is the end of Tomb Raider 1. This is Mr. Hamster 991 signing out. Goodbye.